Hey everyone, this is Joey with 22 Halo Media, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a shared folder in your Rocky Linux virtual machine that we created with Oracle VirtualBox. Now, if you don't know how to create a virtual machine or use VirtualBox, you're going to want to watch one of the previous videos in my VirtualBox series, as this is an ongoing series and the knowledge does stack on top of each other. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open up my Rocky Linux virtual machine. And the first thing we're going to want to do is go to devices. And then you'll go to shared folders, shared folders settings, and you'll click on adds new shared folder. And you're going to click the drop down, click other, and then you're going to select the folder that you want to share. For me, that's going to be a folder I named shared. Now it can be any folder on your drive and it could be any name. It doesn't have to be named shared. That's just what I chose. Now you could specify a mount point, but I'm going to leave this blank and I'll mount it at media. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in a moment. Then I'm going to want to auto mount it. And I'm also going to make it permanent. And then click OK. Now I'm going to open up a terminal and I'll full screen it. And if we list media, you'll see that there's a folder called SF underscore shared. And if I go into my files, you'll also see that there's a mount point SF underscore shared. If I click on it, it's going to say this location cannot be displayed. You do not have the permissions necessary to be the contents of SF underscore shared. So we need to fix that. If you right click the folder and you go in the properties and then you go to permissions, you're going to see that there's a group called VBOX SF and you're going to need to add this group to your user. So in terminal, we're going to use a command called user mod with the tags A for add and G for group. And then you'll put in the group you want to add is VBOX SF. And then you'll type in your user. And then your password. Now, once you've uh, done that, you're still not going to be able to list the contents of the folder. It's going to say permission denied. And that's because you have to log out and log back in for the uh, changes to your user to take place. So now that I'm logged back in, I should be able to list the contents of that file or of that directory. And I may just need to log out one more time. If you have a problem where it says permission denied, just go ahead and log out again. That probably won't happen to you. Uh, I added the folder and then removed it so I could do it for the tutorial. So that's probably why that happened. We're just going to give it a second.
Okay, so now you'll see that I could list it out. And for you, if it's, if it's your first time adding the shared folder, you're only going to need to log out and log back in once. Uh, for me, I had already added this shared folder previously, and then I removed the group, and I removed uh, the folder. And I think that's what caused it to kind of... Uh, it, it caused just a weird problem there where it had to catch up a little bit with the system. But you can see now that we can... Uh, we can read and write to this shared folder now. So if I, you know, created a file. I can create a file and. Um, we can we can read and write. To the folder and it will also show on our actual system where the folder on the host system which is Windows that text will also display so if you want to share files between your host system and between your virtual machine this is a great way to do that I do hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, I'm sorry you had to watch me log out a few times. Um, again, that was just because I had added the folder previously before um, doing the tutorial to make sure I, I knew what I was doing. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. There will be a few affiliate links in the description. If you want to start a business, Northwest Registered Agent is a great place to form your business and to protect your privacy by using their registered agent office on your business formation documents, your articles of organization, which is public on the Secretary of State. And then if you want to create a website, I have an affiliate link for name.com and you can get managed WordPress hosting for only $30 a year. So there's some great products. I use them personally for my business. And, uh, you know, if you're considering anything of the sort, uh, th those are two great products for one business formation services and two building websites. And I also have an affiliate link to the laptop I use for work. If you're looking for a new laptop. So once more, hope you liked the video and, uh, there'll be much more to come. Have a good night.